Welcome guys to the Samuro reveal day. Uh, earlier today, Samuro the Blade Master just got confirmed to be coming to Heroes of the Storm, which is pretty damn cool because he is one of the heroes that I uh, played a lot of in Warcraft 3. And one of the things that I was always wondering about him is whether or not they're going to keep the same kit for him. Because the way I saw it, Greetings, his kit friend. was already covered by some of the other heroes that are there. So I was wondering, is he gonna have blade? Ma uh, is he gonna have windwalk? Is he gonna have critical strike? And all those questions. And I didn't know how they were gonna be able to port it. But now let's take a look at the blade master together. Uh, I want to start with the trailer, and then we'll take a look at all the other stuff that we have. Not gonna be too long because I also want to go play some games. But let's. Let's check this out. So, um, let's see. Okay, I'm just going to make that one a little bit bigger. So I can capture the whole window. The trailer, first of all. I won't give you my opinion yet. Let's just watch it together. Like that. So that is super cool. A very different kind of trailer. None of the, uh, let's say, none of the like kicking ass of Arthas and so on. Just a very spiritual, very Asian movie kind of thing with the other Asian influenced character, the uh, the Pandaren Brewmaster. Uh, I think it's super cool. The music. It, this is gonna appeal a lot to the Chinese market, which has so many Warcraft three fans. He looks cool, the Blade Master. Still don't know his kit, so let's take a look at that. Uh, the official entry of the Blade Master on the Betonet website. It's right here. Samuro, the last remaining Blade Master to wear the banner of the Burning Blade. He's on a warrior's pilgrimage in search of vengeance. His blade is always in search of vengeance. I know that uh, from the quotes of Warcraft 3 and redemption for his fallen clan. It will be a long journey, but he has sworn an oath to restore his clan's honor. That's his base skin. This is his master skin. His sword transforms, he wears iron claw hooves, he gets the banner. Isn't that the Burning Blade clan? Oh, he's the last one of his clan. And then Samuro the Hellblade. They didn't change the flavor text here, which they usually do in the game. Very nice uh, samurai influenced feeling of his skins as well. 
Apparently he turns brown here, which also means it's before drinking fell blood. So they say that he is going to be survivable and complex, not offer too much in the way of utility, and do pretty good damage. He's an assassin, so he's a melee assassin. And his abilities are going to be mirror image, which will create two copies of him that will do some damage. So it's not like a wand of illusion or mirror image in Warcraft 3. They never did damage. They were purely about disruption. And then in Warcraft 3, mirror image wouldn't offer anything to the fight as soon as your opponents knew which ones are fake. Except a little bit of damage mitigation and blocking. Mirror image used to be the talent to pick in Warcraft 3. But as people got better, it fell off in usefulness. Also, Windwalk got a buff. But this one, it's going to have actual value. It will deal damage and it will have reduced HP, which will allow people and the opponents to know which ones are real, because they can see they're doing double as much damage on this health bar. They will last 18 seconds. You can have two active at any one time. Critical Strike. Your next basic attack, within 10 seconds, will be a Critical Strike which will do 50% increased damage. So you can activate this one to have a guaranteed critical on your next basic. And it is a passive as well. You and your images do a critical strike every fourth basic attack. So it's not random like in Warcraft 3, where you had a 15% chance to do double, triple or quadruple damage depending on what level you are. Ooh, that was kind of nice. For all the VODs I've watched, never lucky to get you online grub. Keep it up man, most entertaining. Less than three. Thank you very much fan, that's uh, super nice. Appreciate it man. Wow. All the VODs. Too bad you never catch me live, but there we go. Thank you. Uh... Uh, Windwalk, uh, Critical Strike. So, it is not random, which might have confused some people. It might have annoyed some people. As much as I think randomness made Warcraft 3 uh, magical, in a way. Though it can be frustrating at times, but it's also very fun when you get the good luck. Heroes community hasn't been that receptive of randomness. Uh, Hearthstone community has a love-hate relationship with it, but this one is not random. Windwalk, enter stealth for 8 seconds or until you attack, or use an ability or take damage. 25% movement speed increase, and you can pass through other units. Damage taken within the first 1 second does not break Windwalk, which is nice. Because otherwise, you have a scenario like with the Haka, where you burrow, you have the stealth talent, but when you have Enduring Swarm on, it is damaging people and you immediately get uncloaked. So you get zero value out of it. This one, at the very least, it will be a one second escape. Similar to Nova's level 20 talent, Ghost Protocol, which puts her in a forced state of stealth for two seconds that cannot be revealed. And that's nice. Hero Trait. Basic Greetings, attacks against enemy friend. heroes. Increase your movement speed by 25% for 2 seconds. And it would refresh every time you hit someone. So, you can use it to hit someone and then escape. Or you can use it to hit someone and rotate around them for stutter step faster. Or you can chase people. So that is his abilities. And can we see how it looks? No. Uh, Blade Storm. Nice. That was his heroic in, uh, in Warcraft 3. You become unstoppable, so you cannot be stunned, slowed, rooted. Whirlwind of death, so any, everyone will die, which is pretty nice. Uh, dealing 285 damage per second to nearby enemies for 4 seconds. And of course this, get, this gets scaled when someone levels up. And then finally, Illusion Master. Switch places with a target mirror image. And is also adding a passive that you can control mirror images separately or as a group. And they deal additional damage. Very nice, very thematic. And one thing that I noticed is there's no mana costs. So it either means he's a fully cooldown based hero like Zarya, or maybe I should say like Illidan, because Zarya has Greetings, a secondary friend. resource. 10 light years and going. Uh, light years is a measurement of distance, not time. And you subbed for 10 months, not light years. 
It's going on YouTube. I can't troll right now, fan. Uh, so I just want to check out someone that has a known source of mana, for example, Alarak, to see if it lists mana for him. And it does not list mana here either. So we don't really know. We don't really know. He could have mana or he might not have mana. Now let's look at the next element. Gosu Gamers has their talents listed already. This is, by the way, the drawing, which is how Blade Master was revealed by Samwise Didier, talented resident artist at Blizzard. I think he's been with them for like 15, 20 years, 25, I don't know. Long time. So he draw this. Very young hands, by the way. Uh, the reveal video is here. Oh, you can check that out yourself. Or maybe we check it later. And here... Here's his kit that we already saw, and this is his talents. So, level 1 talent here. Critical strike now happens every third basic attack and deals an additional quarter of your basic damage. Or you can go for a quest. Every time one of your images critically strikes a hero, gain half an attack damage, up to 20, so 40 times. After 40 times, gain an additional 20 attack damage. So this is kind of like Seasoned Marksman, but in a Blade Master way. Way of the Wind. Attacking a hero from Windwalk increases the movement speed bonus of Windwalk by 1.25%, up to 25 total. And it gi normally Windwalk gives him 25. So if it adds 25, does that mean... Uh... Does that mean 31-ish 30, or 50%? I guess 50, 25 plus 25. So you have 50% bonus movement speed, which is 20% faster than, I mean, it's 20% above mount speed. It's not 20% fast. It's 20% above mount speed, and it's 10% under Sergeant Hammer Hyper Thrusters. She gets 160, this is 150. That's pretty cool. Uh, after hitting 20 heroes, the duration before Windwalk can be broken by damage is increased to 2.5 seconds. 2.5 unbroken seconds of cloak, which is uh, super sick. And now just to kind of go out on a limb here and choose which of these three seems to be best without knowing anything at all yet about his damage numbers and health, I think this one might be the best. You become faster, and you get a much more reliable escape. And by the way, Trixler is confirming that Samuro does not have mana. He's cooldown based. Nice. So he will feel a little bit like a Street Fighter character. Uh, a beat-em-up character. Where it's just about you and your skills, your movement, and you don't have to worry about mana as a resource. That's sick. Now all we need to know is his cooldowns. Deflection. While advancing strikes is active, keep in mind this is passive, his trait, you gain 25% reduced damage. It's not general resistance, but only from hero basic attacks. Which is pretty thematically accurate, because as a sword fighter, a fencer, he would be good at dodging and deflecting basic attacks. But he'll be more vulnerable to... Uh, to spells mirror image or I mean, equally vulnerable uh, mirror management mirror image grants you and your images two charges of spell block reducing the damage of the next enemy ability against you by 50 percent so you can choose anti-mage or anti-auto attacker by 50 percent you and your images two charges of spell block can hold up to two charges so, you can't say which one is better, it's purely about what comp are you against. So, you can already say that both are viable. One with the wind. While stealth by windwalk, you gain, you take 60% reduced damage from all sources. So, it's by far the most powerful. It is also win-win over both ones, which is nice, so it's clear, but only while you're stealth. And, and, uh... Keep in mind, you can be damaged while you're stealth by area of effect, or if people reveal you, but then you wouldn't be stealth anymore. So, it's either from the first source of damage as you are stealthed, 
for eight seconds, uh, Windwalker's eight seconds stealth, or if I understand it correctly, during the first two and a half or one second of the Windwalk, any damage you take will be 60% reduction. But if it's after that, after the one respective two and a half seconds, it is one single source of damage reduced by 60%. Okay, that seems pretty balanced tree. This may be a situational one, it may be the weakest, but if you get this quest pretty early, this one goes up in value. It really depends on the comp. Level 7, Crushing Blast. Critical Strike now has two charges, and Critical Strike deal an additional 25% of your basic attack damage. Seems nice. Uh, so you get more control over your critical strikes. Um, you don't just have to every fourth basic, but also twice your next attack in 10 seconds. And also, very important, Verrotten says, Critical Strike does not break stealth in Windwalk. So it gives him some poke damage. So you can actually Windwalk towards someone, hit them with critical, and then go back. Cool. But you must dodge area of effect damage in doing so, or you will break stealth. Very cool, very cool. And you can do that twice with this. And they never saw you. A true ninja, guys. The most dangerous ninja is the unseen one, and every ninja is unseen. By the way, there's one in your room right now. Uh, the second one, Burning Blade. Critical strikes unleash a burst of flame, dealing an additional 65% of your basic attack damage to the target and nearby enemies. Helps with the wave Reading clear, helps spread. with crowd control of the uh, you know many opponent heroes grouped around together. And then Phantom Pain. Critical strikes deal an additional 40% of your basic attack damage for each image that you have active. So, 40 or 80 extra. Nice. Bladestone, we've read, read about it, so did we have about Illusion Master, let's go on. Mirrored Steel, basic attacks against heroes reduce the cooldown of mirror image by one second. Now, because we don't know the cooldown of mirror image, we don't know how good this is. I'm going to guess that the cooldown of mirror image is less than 18, because they said they last for 18 seconds, but you cannot have more than two active at the same time. So if it was 20 seconds, they wouldn't have had to write this. If it was 18, they wouldn't have had to write it. So I think it's less than 18. And I think what would be possibly balanced is 12 or 14. So if that is the case, and this is an assumption. Oh, activating critical doesn't break stealth. Attacking still does. Good point, Celta. Okay. Okay. So you will be cloaked until you reveal yourself with the critical. And then you have to walk away. Got it. Okay. So this is a little addendum to what we just said. Basic attacks against heroes reduce the cooldown of mirror image by one second. So let's say if it's 14, you attack three, four times, you can have images come back quicker. Pretty cool. Kavarimi, which I don't know what it means. Let me look that up. Kavarimi. Body replacement technique. An ancient ninja art revolving around misdirection and the split-second timing of a switch between a body and a location. Wow! Windwall creates an image at your location that will continue whatever you are doing. That's the functionality that I always hoped that Monstrosity would have. The second heroic for Avatar. So, if you do a shift command positioning movement thing of a heart, and then you go Kavarimi, your image will be drawing a heart for the opponent, mesmerizing them and falling in love with the blade. Boom, you attack them from the back. And we call that Kavar Round. Kavar Wrecked. Or you can have some kind of creeping pattern or, I don't know, attacking the minion wave, pretending you don't see anything. Pretty cool. And then Shukuchi. Shukuchi is a Japanese word, duh, uh, for the power of teleportation attributed to some senin and Sian. Those possessing this ability were believed to be capable of moving vast distances in a single step, and we call that the seven miles boots. The term is sometimes used to refer to a similar ability in Buddhist belief. 
So, teleportation, and let's see what it does. Windwalk teleports. Oh, they got the right word. Uh, Windwalk teleports Samuro a short distance in the direction he's currently facing. Cool. Very useful. By the way, did I say Windwalk makes you pass through other units? I, I think it's the one thing I didn't say. And it's kind of important because he also loses collision in Warcraft 3. That's a very important element because in early Warcraft 3 he could not. And then they gave him that ability, passing through, and then Windwalk became trending. Uh, press the attack, level 16. While advancing strikes is active, basic attacks increase your attack speed by 15%, up to 60. And advancing strikes is his trait, so your trait becomes expanded to a bonus attack speed. As many critical strikes. Harsh winds. Attacking a hero from Windwalk causes them to take 30% increased damage from you and your images for 3 seconds. So it's his version of I vulnerability, but only affects him. Thanks for the great stream. P.S. You look sharp today, Grubster. Sharp? My blade seeks vengeance, bro. Thank you very much. Merciless strikes. Basic attacks against slowed, rooted, or stunned targets are always critical strikes. <laughs> this is Executioner, but his version. So it's all crits. Your images use Blade Storm when you do, level 20, the first Storm tier talent. 3 Blade Style. Your images gain an additional 50% of your health and last up to 32 seconds. Keep in mind that they already had 50. What is 50 plus 50, guys? Not 50 times 50. It's 100%. 100%. So you'll have 3 Blade Masters. They may not all do as much damage as your main one, but they'll be hard to tell from each other. Blade Master's Pursuit. Advancing Strikes grants an additional 15% bonus movement speed, and its duration is increased by 2 seconds. 15 plus 25 is over ninth is over 40 percent that is the old mount speed it's 10 percent faster than current mount speed so the blade master when he hits you once you will not get away <laughs> i like it i don't see why people should get away from blade master anyway because they're supposed to get hit by a samurai sword uh wind strider Windwalk's cooldown is reduced by 6 seconds. So I'm going to assume it was something like 12, maybe? 12 seconds seems fair. So maybe it will be cut in half. And I don't know this part for sure. If anyone knows the cooldowns, let me know. Now, it is my honest hope that Blade Master will be released OP and will never get nerfed. So if you guys could please not complain about Blade, whatever happens, that would be very nice. Thank you. Uh, what is this? Yes, this is the drawing. Greetings, friend. Thanks for the sub, Enforcer Javi. That is the drawing. And I think we have it all now. Yes, and I also added an entry for Samura already in Robogrub with his alternative names Samurai, BM, Blade, Blade Master, Samura, and Klingenmeister. Uh, you can see his kit and talents. You can see the trailer if you do exclamation mark Samuro. This one doesn't work yet. Ready to roll out! I need to wait. And you can see his skins. Cool. So cool. Never complain about Blade Master.
because can we take an example from the Warcraft 3 players? No one in Warcraft 3 ever complained about Blade Master. Right? Sure. <laughs> Only undead players occasionally complain about Blade Master. And broader than, even though he's friend. a warrant, because he doesn't play Thanks Blade. for the preview, Grubby. Looking forward to watching a WC3 Pro play him on release. Thank you, man. Adaskun. Aren't you the winner of that Greetings, friend. prize thing? I think so. Thank you for the sub, Coca Say this. Ich höre in Gehörge für die brennende Klinge. Now, notably, the Blade Master did not have any self sustain. Besides Confusion, Teleportation, Greetings, Hagakiri, friend. and Kirushami. Wait, what was it? K Nukashi? Oh yeah. Kavarimi and... Kavarimi and Shukuchi. Yes, Kavarimi and Shukuchi and his Mirror Image and Windwalk are his escapes. He would then need to go back and get healing. He doesn't have self-heal. Trickster said, Illusion Master OP. Pretty pumped to watch good players use it. Can put the mirror image in a hidden spot and jump to it if you're about to die in battle. Yeah, the new form of Bolt of the Storm. <laughs> Some Adorak plays. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the purifier beam. 